This video is about determining flow rate using dimensional analysis. This is Shannon. Example 1. Calculate the flow rate in milliliters per hour. Our order is for 1800 milliliters in 24 hours. If you're not familiar with the abbreviation D5W, which is 5% dextrose in water, please see the table on page 499 for those abbreviations. So I'm going to set up my dimensional analysis here. This is an infusion pump problem, which means I'm just going to calculate the flow rate in milliliters per hour in a very simple way here. I know my order is 1800 milliliters. This is where I'll start. Notice my answer here, I know, will be in milliliters per hour. By setting up my answer here, it tells me exactly how to do my problem. Milliliters per hour says I need milliliters on top and hours on bottom. So when I use this fact, 24 hours from my problem. It tells me I'm going to put that number on the bottom. 24 hours. And now we can see I do in fact have milliliters on top and hours on the bottom. So I multiply across the top and multiply across the bottom. On the top I get 1800 milliliters on the bottom I get 24 hours. When I divide those answers out, 1800 divided by 24, I get 75 milliliters per hour as my flow rate. Example 2. Calculate the flow rate. My order is for 500 milliliters of a 5% dextrose solution in 3 hours by infusion pump. I'm going to start with my order here, 500 milliliters. Notice that my problem says calculate the flow rate, but it is, does not tell me a unit for use. My standard default, if it does not tell me a unit, will always be in milliliters per hour, as the previous video explained. So I'm going to head, go ahead and use that milliliters per hour in my solution to help guide my problem. Notice I already have milliliters on top like I want. It's hours that I want on bottom. And my problem provides me with the amount of time I'm looking for, three hours. I'm going to multiply across the top. I'm going to multiply across the bottom. And I'm going to divide my final results. The answer I get here isn't so nice. 166.666666 yeah forever so we're going to end up rounding this to 167 milliliters per hour in example 3 calculate the flow rate in milliliters per hour. The order is for 40 milliliters of a dextrose solution in 15 minutes by infusion pump. I'm going to start as always with my order.
40 milliliters. Because my question tells me I want my flow rate in milliliters per hour, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and list my solution units as milliliters per hour. Notice I already have milliliters on top. What I'm looking for is hours on bottom. Unfortunately, this problem's tricky. It's not giving me hours on bottom. It's giving me minutes. Since this is the unit I have, I'm going to go ahead and put that 15 minutes on bottom, knowing it doesn't match, and I'm going to have to use some kind of conversion fraction to make it match. Now what I want is hours on bottom. So what I'm going to use is a conversion fact I know, which is one hour equals 60 minutes, and go ahead and convert those minutes I have into hours, which is what I want. Because my problem already has, my railroad tracks has 15 minutes on bottom, I'm going to use this 60 minutes on top. And the one hour on bottom. Notice now my minutes on top cancel with my minutes on bottom. On top I'm left with milliliters, and on bottom I'm left with hours, milliliters per hour, which is what I want in my final answer. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply across the top. I'm going to multiply across the bottom and get my final answer by dividing the top by the bottom. 160 milliliters per hour is my final flow rate setting. Thanks for watching.